Hello. Families, please take your seats. Please take your seats. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we bore at the twilight's resting light? Peace brought stripes and bright stars to the perilous fight or the ramparts we've watched were so gallantly strewn and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave 
Thank you. Good afternoon, cadets. Yes, good, afternoon, cadets. good afternoon, families, friends, and community members. My name is Katie Lee. Sorry. And I have the honor of serving as the principal of the Public Safety Academy. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the commencement ceremony of the class of 2022. Before we begin, I would like to acknowledge the many special guests who are attendance to honor our graduates. Fairfield Sassoon Unified Superintendent Chris Corey. <laughs> Board President Bethany Smith. <laughs> Board Vice President David C. Isom. Board Clerk, Craig Wilson. Previous Board President, Jonathan Richardson. Board Member, Judy Honeychurch. Board Member, Anna Patero. We also have with us many staff members from the central office. From our CTE Public Safety Advisory Board, police officer from Fairfield, Cade Beckwith. Solano County Deputy Sheriff, Rex Hawkins. Fairfield Police Department Sergeant Franco Caesar. <laughs> CTE Public Safety Board Member Monty Hoover, the President and CEO of Gillespie's Abbey Carpet and Floor. <laughs> and special guest, former Principal of PSA Lori Halcom. <laughs> and president of our parent group, Special Ops, Lisa DeVoe. Please join me in welcoming Superintendent Chris Corey to the podium. Congratulations, Public Safety Academy graduating class of 2022. I want to extend a warm welcome, no pun intended, to all of you here supporting our graduates today. On many occasions, I have heard the cadets recite their PSA creed. I strive to achieve academic excellence. I exemplify high moral character. I work diligently to prepare for the future. I know my success in school and in life is dependent upon my own effort. These aren't just words to our graduating seniors. Excellence, high moral character, diligence, preparation, success, and effort are all part of your core. In Jean Alwig's book, Partnering, she writes about a commitment to the commitment. Committing yourself to something bigger, she writes, prepares you for going all in, allowing you to feel safe and knowing 100% you have each other's backs. All in commitment gives you the freedom to do something bigger, shifting your gaze outward beyond yourself. Committing to the commitment, the PSA creed and graduation takes hard work patience and perseverance, and the PSA graduates have done just that. They committed to their commitment, their creed, their school, and each other. We look forward to seeing the many contributions that you will make to our collective future. Continue to strive to be committed to the commitment in your work, your relationships, and your community. On behalf of our Fairfield Sassoon Governing Board, our staff, and the entire Fairfield Sassoon community, I want to congratulate you once again, Public Safety Cadet Seniors Class of 2022.
Thank you, Superintendent Corey. Next, a few of our cadets will share their thoughts and inspirations with you. Please welcome Class President Nolan Kerrigan. To clarify, I am not one of the smart kids. However, it has been a pleasure to be your 2022 class president. Thank you families, friends, faculty, and all distinguished guests for coming out to be here for this important day. To the class of 2022, we are done with high school. We can finally say goodbye to the good old PSA uniform after these years. <laughs> Many of us will wake up tomorrow thinking, I don't have to wear my uniform anymore. <laughs> or, shine my shoes this morning? Psst, I think not. And AA, hey, hey, check this out. We don't have to wear, or we can wear our hoods wherever we want to. <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> However, this was only the first step. Some of us are gonna be putting on a new uniform, cutting our hair, getting punished way more for not shining our shoes or following orders and having more PT. Some of us are gonna be spending countless hours writing research papers, creating presentations to pitch ideas to CEOs and diplomats, training to get into a trade or promoting a small business. Just know that in all we do, we have to be true to who we are, know what we like, learn what we're good at, and our gifts and purposes will reveal themselves. I'm grateful for the discipline that PSA instilled in us and all the lessons this school taught us. When the school says to strive for excellence, work diligently, and that your success is dependent on you, take that to heart. You are accountable to your actions. You all are some of the most good-hearted people I'll ever meet in my lifetime. Although I'm gonna miss you all dearly, I can't wait for the world to experience what each and every one of you has to offer, and I'm really excited about the great things you will accomplish in the future. Over these years, we really became one big PSA family, and we had so much fun and success along the way. However, staff also had to deal with our tomfoolery for four plus years, so thank you guys for babysitting us. <laughs> to the class of 2022, thank you, and I wish nothing but the best as we start adulthood. I hope we can spend this whole summer to kick it together, uh, but good luck to Benjamin Herr because he's going to boot camp June 28th. Um, it has been a very interesting journey with you guys, and I loved walking every step of the way with you all. As the great Jonathan Randall says, do not add to the population, do not take away from the population. If you get arrested by police, call Mrs. DeVoe to bail you out. <laughs> and establish dominance immediately. Thank you all, class of 2022. God is watching over us. Make the world care again. Class president out. Thank you, Cadet Kerrigan. Please welcome salutatorian Victor Chavez Corona. Great speech, Nolan. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. First and foremost, I'd like to thank my older sister for introducing me to this school, even if she lied and told me that they would have Chinese takeout for lunch. <laughs> I'd also like to welcome all friends, family, and school officials to our graduation ceremony. I would like to start off by talking about the spirit of PSA. We are small, but we are mighty. A graduating class of 53 people for 2022. Some of us have stayed all eight years, myself included. The community we have made is equaled by no other school. I remember my first day as a fifth grader entering boot camp. I'll be honest, I was glad it was only three hours. I'll also admit that I cried at least one time during those three hours. <laughs> this school year, we filled the shoes of those older cadets who taught us our drill commands 
and made me cry. On graduation day, we're going to Foot Locker and we're getting our own new pair of figurative shoes. We're leaving the familiarity of Taylor's shoe store and we're getting the Jordans he's always eyed through the window. I think that nowhere else could I have gone the same high school experience. I still remember homecoming in 2019. That day, I got back home from school and I fell asleep. I woke up and I realized I only had 30 minutes left to get dressed and get myself over to campus. About 40 minutes later, my mom dropped me off in the parking lot, not even parking, as I ran through that door in my fancy little button-up shirt. When I went into that cafeteria, the energy was awesome. I was welcomed and I was happy. If I attended a high school with a thousand students, first of all, we wouldn't have fit in that room, and second of all, I would have known not even a quarter of our graduating class that night. After today, many of us are going to leave to go our separate ways. Many of them I may never see again. But as unironically as I can put this, they are PSA cadets, lifelong learners, and amazing people. Before we leave, I'd like to ask you to remember your origins. Graduation is not the end, but the beginning. As cheesy as that sounds, and as often as you probably heard that, it's true. In a couple of months, when you go off to your nine to five, research papers, or whatever else you're doing, remember what you came from and who you are. It's never too late to get that new pair of shoes that you've always wanted. I'm gonna miss you guys. Thank you, class of 2022. Thank you, Cadet Chavez Corona. Please welcome valedictorian Simone Raga. Gathered friends, family, staff, and other honored guests, hello. Eight years ago, I first met many of you. Such a short time, but it, it feels like an eternity ago. Today is the end of our journey here and our ascent to new lives. The 53 of us here today have known each other for years. Few people are as blessed with relationships as close as ours. Sometimes it was a breeze, sometimes it was a bind. Sometimes people ate 16 pizzas. <coughs> Josh. Sometimes we shined our shoes with Vaseline. <laughs> This place taught us discipline and the importance of relationships. At school, we heard the word family more than Vin Diesel said in Fast and Furious. And while we rolled our eyes at it, it's what we are. To my mom, dad, brothers, and especially to Ben, MK, Nolan, Gavin, and Elijah, thank you for everything. Mom, dad, you sacrificed a lot for me, and I am thankful every day. Through the good and the bad, your support kept me going. To be honest, I count on you all far more than you know. You changed my life and saved me in more ways than one. This haven won't last forever, and we still had good times, though, didn't we? Over the last four years, I hope you all experienced what I did, a rowdy friendship and impulsive life. Asking someone if they get it, or if every time one of you hit my water. Our bonds may fracture after this, but those moments are, some, are something I'll remember for the rest of my life. For me, what represented the PSA best wasn't the building. This moment, being here with all of you, that's the PSA. The road ahead is long, and it won't always be easy or take us to where we want to go. As we split and go elsewhere, do all you can and do your best. Find joy in whatever life has to offer. Walk your own path, because at the end of the day, our success in school and life is dependent on our own efforts. Through all the pits and falls, press forward. And if you ever think your accomplishments are a fluke, don't. As Master Uguay said, there are no accidents. No more class shirt days, SVAC tests, or announcements, except for this one. Good afternoon and happy Friday. Today is June 10th, 2022. Today is National Iced Tea Day. Congrats, seniors. And after graduation, make sure to pick up your diploma from Mrs. Gore. Here's the joke of the day. What did the ice box of tea to say to the sun? You bring tears to my eyes. <laughs> and one last thing, seniors. Repeat after me. At the end of the lesson, the of the lesson students, will be able to students will be able to receive their diploma, receive their diploma graduate, graduate, and leave high school. And leave high school. Thank you.
Thank you, Valedictorian Raga. Wow, I can't believe today is finally here. The class of 2022 is graduating today. I am so proud of each and every one of you. Although the previous couple of years were not your typical high school experience, these seniors sure made up for it this year. <laughs> As a PSA family, these cadets came together to make this year special, celebrating senior sunrise, homecoming, powder puff, spirit weeks, prom, and finally, senior sunset. As a PSA family, these cadets have supported each other's growth academically and personally. Through their camaraderie, they have encouraged and motivated each other to be successful in their classes. They have challenged and pushed their classmates to take risks and to be problem solvers. This is definitely a special group of young adults. As with each graduating class, the Public Safety Academy, as with each graduating class of PSA, this class has helped shaped our program into what it is today. After coming back from distance learning, these cadets help set the tone and expectation for our younger cadets. They have been excellent role models, exemplifying high moral character, compassion for others, and the strength of character to do what is right, especially when no one is looking. And they have done all of this with such a fun and sweet sense of humor, as you saw today. You make me smile every day. Their hard work and determination have led to many academic successes for which they are to be commended. Throughout their four years of high school, more than a third of our graduates have maintained a cumulative grade point average of 3.5 or higher. 13% have maintained a GPA of 3.8 to 3.99, earning the designation for highest honors. And 13% of this class has maintained a cumulative GPA of a 4.0 or above for all four years, earning highest honors. <laughs> Cadets, as my last sixth grade students as a teacher and my first senior class as a principal, you will always hold a special place in my heart and memories. I have watched many of you grow in the last eight years and I am impressed. I see your growth in character, confidence, maturity, and judgment. Not only are you fully academically prepared for whatever awaits you, you are prepared as leaders to take on the world. I will send you off with a quote from author Ryan Holiday. The belief that an individual can make a difference is the first step. The next is understanding that you can be that person. You have all the foundation, you all have the foundation to make a positive difference in our community, our world. Create a vision for yourself. Decide who you want to be. And hold true, as we've said before, to our cadets' creeds. I know my success in school and life is dependent on my own effort. With this advice, you will find joy in your path, your journey even with all of the obstacles that are, will come your way. I wish you all the best, we will miss you, and please come back and visit. Thank you. Now we will have the presentation of diplomas. Reading the names will be Public Safety Academy Instructor Nate Villain and Public Safety Academy Assistant Principal Jason Fisher. Now presenting, Andrea Aguilar Mejia. 
Enia Aguilera Badillo. Gavin Amparo. Abisai Angulo Rios. Amber Bain. Solomon Bayonetta. Jose Becerra Gonzalez. Aiden Burgenis. Ethan Brandenburg. Allison Kahala. Nolan Kerrigan. Victor Chavez Corona. Dylan Crum. Kayla Combs. Joseph Cook. Giselle Corona. Alexandra Cousins. Bailey DeCosta. Ariana Deloa Rodriguez. Cesar Figueroa Gonzalez. Marco Gomez Navarro. Edward Grajeda Chavez. Benjamin Herr. Sammy Isbay. Gurkirin Carr. Wyatt Kaiser. Ani Lopez Jimenez. Eduardo Lopez Padilla. Perla Martinez Cambron. Lachlan McConnell. Michael Jed Mercadal. Shweb Mohammed. Yasmin Mohammed. Corey Oram. Victoria Pullen. Thomas Pertil. Simone Raga. Diego. Rodriguez. Oh my gosh, Diego Ramirez, I skipped a line, I apologize. Eric Rodriguez. Alexia Ruiz.
Christopher Shepard. Jonathan Simmons. Joshua Starkman. Tegan Talbot. John Tracy. Emiliano Uloa Lopez. Caitlin Urena. James Valenzuela. Joey Wang. Elijah Woods. Aziza Yusuf. Eva Zador. Joanna Colorado Jacobo. about one more big round of applause for graduating class. Okay, class of 2022, please stand. Superintendent Corey, governing board, distinguished faculty and staff, family and friends. I certify that all of the students standing before you today have met the graduation requirements for the state of California and the Fairfield Sassoon Unified School District. Congratulations, class of 2022. You are now graduate, graduates of the PSA. Leading our tassel ceremony is the cadet commander, Joseph Cook. Cadets. 